Beauty Picks. Today we are making brownies and these ones are like gooey. So they get crispy outer shell kind of thing and then you go in the middle and they're like, oh yeah. But we're gonna jazz them up one step further with cream eggs. If you want to follow this twist, you can. Otherwise, enjoy this brownie recipe for what it is. Pure chocolatey deliciousness. You will need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade. Uh, we're going to be using that for approximately 30 minutes. It is going to make six large, somewhat greedy brownies, or 12 much more acceptable, better for you brownies as well. Uh, we've got caster sugar, plain flour, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, chocolate, eggs, and butter. Sounds like a lot, but all of these are your staple kind of store cupboard ingredients plus some chocolate if you don't have that hanging around. We're going to begin by grabbing my beautiful, I know I do this every time, but I love it so much. It's my KitchenAid. So we're going to start by creaming 125 grams of unsalted butter. I haven't got my contraption on. <laughs> it's not gonna whip. One sec. It's down here. We're in. Uh, where were we? 125 grams of unsalted room temperature butter. And we're gonna cream this for about three minutes just so that it's nice and soft and fluffy. Much like my recipe for fairy cakes, which you can find up here. You'll notice some similarities. Oh boy, it's your boy. 275 grams of caster sugar. Caster sugar because you want it to dissolve nicely. Don't want no crunchy granulated, no, no, no. So that's gonna go into here as well. And then again, we're gonna pop that down and cream it for another three minutes just to get it nice and fluffy and whipped. We are going to add in two large free ranged eggs. Hit shit. Okay, and then we're going to switch this back on and gradually add it into our mixture. Don't be worried if at this point it starts to curdle a little bit. It's fine, it will smooth out once you put your dry ingredients in as well. To this, we're going to add one teaspoon, whilst we're sticking to our wet ingredients, of vanilla extract as well. Um, It might look curdled, no fear, no worries. It's not a problem, this can be rectified. And it's just once you add the dry ingredients, it'll smooth itself out. So to this, we are going to sift in 85 grams of plain flour and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then we're gonna sift those into our bowl. And then finally, to enhance that delicious chocolatey goodness that makes us all go, we're going to add in 100 grams of melted chocolate and I've just melted this in the microwave literally like 10 seconds at a time so I've got here 70% dark chocolate oh god it's just such a great feeling watching that in there oh yeah so we're going to fold it in until those ingredients are really nicely combined and you get a lovely glossy brown chocolate Oh, mum, you should be left with this really lovely, quite thick batter. Mm. Mm, stick my finger in it. We're now going to pop this mixture into a square baking tin. I have just buttered, lined, and greased on top. Oh, yeah. I'm going to smooth that out. Then this is going to go into the oven at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. At 15 minutes, we're going to add our little surprise. So we are going to take a knife and we're going to follow our little seam that you can see down on the cream egg and just cut it straight in half. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for our brownies to finish their first round of baking, I'm just going to pop these halves into the fridge just to set it a little bit before they go into the oven. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. 
Now, this is where we jazz it up. Just push them into the middle. <laughs> and these are going to melt into it. You're going to get a lovely chocolate kind of like that, that volcano of chocolate when you bite into it. So you've got your six halves in there. So that's going to go back in the oven for another 15 minutes and then they'll be ready to enjoy. So there you have it, the cream egg brownie. When you get them out, you'll know that they're cooked when you check kind of halfway between the centre and the side with a skewer. And if it comes out clean, you are perfectly ready to indulge. But now's the moment of truth, so I'm going to give it a go. Ah! Oh, it's so crispy on the outside. Oh, my God. That's so good. That's just dirty chocolate goodness. So delicious, pimped up with a cream egg too, which just finishes it off to perfection. Like it's pure naughtiness. I urge you to give this a go. If you do, let me know. Send me a picture on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And you can check out my details in the box below. If you like this recipe, feel free to give a thumbs up as well. Leave a comment, subscribe, all of those things. And hopefully I will see you guys next week. Mm, I'm going to spend a whole lot.